Hi, I'm Michael Condry. I'm studio head and co-founder of Sledgehammer Games, and we're here with Advanced Warfare, getting excited about November with fans. So Michael, what did next-gen console technology open up for storytelling? Oh man, this has been great for us. Three full years as a new lead studio for Call of Duty, and the focus on next-gen. So as you've seen with the campaign, really the power of our new engine and the next-gen platforms has really delivered lifelike performances. We've got Kevin Spacey's Jonathan Irons and a PCAP that really has just brought those characters to life. And so, you know, Nair has been a big focus for us and we couldn't have pulled off these scenes and this sort of graphic and audio fidelity without the next generation hardware. How did Hollywood movies influence you for the game's campaign story? Yeah, we've looked at TV in Hollywood and TV in particular is really sort of like the third golden age of TV. There's fantastic character driven narrative out there. Your House of Cards and Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones and True Detective and you know we saw an opportunity to really bring that to life for Call of Duty to really have a rich immersive character driven narrative we think we have that in Advanced Warfare. What were some of the movie influences that you actually pulled from? I noticed a lot of RoboCop, the new RoboCop similarities in production design just in general. Yeah we had a great opportunity to meet with Hollywood production designers and really talk about bringing a, a grounded believable near, uh, near future scenario so Everything from really wanting to have that gritty feel of Black Hawk Down to some of that sort of character, you know, attachment you have in like uh, Hurt Locker, all the way to sort of the immersive feel of the near future, almost uh, District 9, to bring that together to really ground you in a conflict of 2054. What are the challenges of trying to raise the bar in interactive storytelling over previous Call of Duty titles? Interactive storytelling is a great opportunity for Call of Duty to really go after some performances and some storytelling that we haven't seen before in the next generation. We look around the industry, there's some great storytelling out there. I mean, we're big fans of narrative in film and TV and in other games like Uncharted and uh, The Last of Us. So we wanted to bring that to Call of Duty with a real focus on a single protagonist and a, you know, a key uh, antagonist in, in Jonathan Irons, played by Kevin Spacey. Those are big opportunities, I think something, frankly, that fans of Call of Duty will be really excited about. So how did Kevin Spacey become involved in this game? Yeah, you know, Kevin Spacey's involvement in the game has been really exciting. He's been completely collaborative and engaged for almost two years. Uh, we wrote the character of Jonathan Irons with him in mind, and, you know, when we saw that we had an opportunity to get him excited about it, I mean, he's, he's a fan of taking some risks in Hollywood and in, in new entertainment avenues, and I think he saw coming to Call of Duty and, and, and having a chance to engage with fans in a new way on the biggest entertainment, uh, interactive entertainment format was a big opportunity. So he came together excited and he's been with us all the way through.